Hi everyone, Idaho Amy here, and I have another album that I made that I want to show you guys. Um, I've been really sick over this Christmas break, and so I haven't gotten much done. And um, I'm feeling a little better, my voice is still a little bit um, messed up, so um, please forgive me. But um, this album I made, um, and it is, oh I forgot how big it is, but it's like 5 by 8 I think, um, or five by eight and a half, something close to that. Anyway, um, I just cut the um, chipboard out. Um, yeah, actually, I think it's five by eight, if I remember correctly, because it was eight by ten, and then I cut it in half, so um, to make more pages. It was that was the size of that it was originally. So, so it's five by eight. And um, I got this new paper line. Um, let me see if I can grab it really quick for you so I can show you what it looks like. Um, I got two stacks at Joann's the other day. Um, we went shopping. The kids had money, and my daughter wanted to go to Joann's to spend her money. <laughs> she's 10 years old, and she's already um, Joann's freaks like me. So, um, But I got this stack right here. And it's the antique uh, papery, I think that's how you say it. And it's just got some really pretty um, papers in it. Um, let me see. It's got birdhouses and bikes. And um, some of them are glittery and some are plain. But it has just really pretty uh, colors that go really well together. And so that's what I made it out of was this stack right here. And I also used, um, had these that go with it, the glitter punch out pad. So it has a bunch of different ephemera. And I really liked it. And they were on clearance, so I got one of each. Um, cause I just really liked the colors and I thought it would give me some inspiration, something different to make. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, my lungs hurt when I talk too much but anyway so um I just added the paper on and I glue it down um this paper I actually used this um tacky glue to glue the paper down with um it's similar to glossy accents only the drying time is longer it takes a little bit longer to dry so you ha it's a little more forgiving if you need to move your papers around a little bit um, so I use that, and I use my glossy accents, but um, I use this um, acrylic paint dauber by um, Ranger. Um, I really like that, and I just inked the edges of the um, chipboard so that um, it wasn't brown, because I didn't really want it to be brown. Even though I inked the edges brown, I wanted it to be not rustic looking, I wanted it to be more... Um, clean looking because this is just a look this album I wanted it to be a little bit vintage a little bit um distressed but not too much um I wanted it to be a little more on the elegant side and um so then I used um a bunch of um seam binding and ribbon and I actually dyed the yellow it was white to begin with I didn't have any yellow seam binding so I dyed it with some uh ranger um alcohol inks and made it um yellow and I really like it and I used a little bit bit of a, a coffee I think in there too to make it have a little bit of brown here and there um, to just stress it a little more and these flowers here I got from um, Karen and she's my buddy in California who we traded some uh, Prima stuff for Graphic 45 because she's down there by Prima and I've got tons of Graphic 45 here so we just did a swap she she traded me a bunch of Prima stuff and um, got these from her as well, these little pearls. So I just uh, hot glued those down. And um, these are just pieces from the ephemera page. And here's a little little doily there. So, And all these brads are the same. Um, they're my favorite ones, and I get them at Michael's. And I can't remember what they're called because as soon as I get the package, I dump it out into a little jar. But I use those a lot because of the color. And so this one here, um, I just 
took this and stuck it in there. You can journal on the back of it or I don't know, whatever you want. If you don't like it in there, throw it away. I don't care. <laughs> it was just glittery and pretty and I thought I would stick it in there. Um, so this is a pocket here. You can put pictures here. You can put, put more stuff in there. And then um, this you can put a photo here or journaling. And same with here. I inked the back so you could journal on it or put a photo. And it just tucks in there. And uh, here, this is popped off a little bit. You can't really tell from the video, but um, it's popped off, so there's space for a photo. Um, my suggestion is um, take a cup or a glass or something and trace around it and stick it in. Um, I did put pop dots all the way around, so you're not able to tuck it in from the top. Um, but um, I wanted it to be all dimensioned out, but this is a perfect spot for a photo and some journaling there. And the pages are super, super thick. I don't know if you can see that. So they're nice and sturdy. And this one, I did leave a spot so you can slide it down in the top. Um, but there's not a lot of room down here in the bottom. So pretty much um, you, can, you can slide it in. But um, I would just cut it down and then stick it there. Um, and this has popped off a little bit. I really like this blue color a lot. And so on this one, I have this ticket that they had in the collection, and it's actually bent over, and so I glued it down. Um, so it's on this side and on this side here. Um, so I like how that turned out, and I like the sparkles on it too. And then this is um, from their, um, oh, it's another pack that goes with this collection. Um, it's got the vellum quotes. And so here's a, a flower, and I think I got this polka dot one from Holly, and I think I got this the, these little Primo ones from Holly too. And uh, this is just a tag that we did. Um, I've done lots of tag swaps in my group, and I have loads and loads and loads of them. So um, I thought this one went well with it because this has lots of birds in it. So and just a little bit of that, you know, extra seam binding, and then this is just a little circle that you can journal on or whatever. So tuck it there. You can put pictures here, put more pictures inside, whatever you want. And then this is that other part of that tag that I glued. And you can put a photo here or you can put journaling. And it's a pocket, so you can stick stuff in there. And I really, I think those are cool. But I ink the edges of it on both sides. So you can put a photo on it, whatever, or more things. And then this one right here, um, I just added some of the vellum and the um, different pieces of the um, ephemera. And <coughs> sorry about that again. And this is more of that seam binding that I dyed. Um, but you just um, open it up and uh, it flips this way. So you can put two photos here. And then it also goes out this way. And uh, you can put something here. I left, I didn't put a mat here because I really like the blue and the lines on it. And I thought if somebody wanted to journal on it, um, I didn't want to cover the pretty blue paper up. So, and here's a place for more journaling or photos or whatever. So, and then you can just, you just tie it back closed. And then here's the next page. Has that pretty Ferris wheel. And this is the perfect day. And there's a space for a small photo. Um, these are about wallet size photos. Um, so most of the, the pictures in here are about wallet size. But I did try to put some big ones in here. This is a 4x6 um, spot for a photo there. There wasn't much room to put anything else on it. So I left it for the large photo. And then this one here as well is for a larger photo. It's probably a 4 by 5 or something like that, that right there. And you can just tuck it, tuck your picture there and glue it down. And then this is a tag that just matches the paper collection. And it doesn't, I mean, you can put it this way too, but I just stuck it that way because um, it holds it in better. And then I raised up this little banner thing a little bit to give it dimension. And then this one I left pretty simple. There's room for photos or journaling or whatever and another vellum quote here and a little prima flower. So um, 
this one had just had such a pretty image on there, I didn't want to cover it up too much. Um, so, and then the back is just um, pretty, pretty brown paper that goes along with it. So, um, I hope you guys like this album, and uh, I'll be listing it on eBay shortly. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I uh, hope it gave you guys some ideas or um, introduced you to a paper line that you hadn't noticed before. So, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.